Murray, we spoke to you last week about the Green Climate Fund. What's changed? Uh, not a lot, really. Um, we've seen countries go away and have uh, kind of secret informal meetings to work out what they're going to do next. But it still looks like we've got the same concerns we had last week. We're still going to see public money being used to subsidise multinational corporations through this fund. And what do you see changing in the next kind of 24 to 48 hours? I mean, we've also heard from some developing countries, particularly those in Latin America, that they are really clear that they don't want this to go ahead as it is. They want to see changes in the decisions that are being made here. So we're hoping that those views will be listened to and that developed countries like the UK and others will stop pushing back against that so we can get a fund that meets the needs of developing countries. And if big countries don't respond to those concerns, do you see this fund getting blocked here at these talks or moving ahead anyway? I mean, I think that's really hard to tell. No one here has got a crystal ball. It's all up in the air at the moment. No one I've spoken to has a clear idea of what the outcome here is going to be. So, yeah, it's, it's very hard to tell. But we hope that, as I said, those countries listen to the needs of developing countries and make sure this fund isn't going the way it's going at the moment. Thanks for speaking to us.